hi you guys welcome to my channel my name is Rida and for today's video I'm going to create this look which is a no makeup makeup look so let's just get started starting with a fresh face but swollen under eyes let's quickly take a deep breath and start with the look i want to do a base so i'll start with the strobe cream i recently got my hands on this product and this can be used alone without even doing a full face of makeup because it gives a beautiful glow to the skin i'm using it in sections so that the base does not look patchy this comes in two different shades which is just amazing using little product on my neck as well and just look at my skin after that i am using an orange corrector because of my dark circles you can totally skip this step if you don't have extremely dark under eyes here i took a tiny bit of product and i'm blending it with my ring finger using another layer because i am honestly not satisfied with the coverage and then blending it in the same way Next up is the foundation. Using a full coverage foundation from Arcte, I took just one pump and I am dotting it all over my face. Next, using a damn beauty blender and spritzing a little bit of makeup fixer on it, I want to show you all how this foundation blends. Despite being a full coverage foundation, it gives a natural skin like finish which is the only reason for me to use a full coverage foundation for a no makeup makeup look. Although this is a matte foundation, something for my oily and combination skin beauties but it does work for my dry skin as well. Using a concealer that is close to my skin tone, I love this concealer from Swiss Beauty. I'm using it under my eyes and then blending it with this beautiful and my favorite concealer brush from PAC. Using this precise eyebrow pencil and starting from the tail of my brow and slowly going further and drawing brow like strokes in between. Once that's done, I'll move on to another brow and focusing more on drawing brow like strokes from where the brow starts so that it looks a little bushy and fixing everything with a spoolie. This concealer and contour stick from Half and Half Cosmetics blends like a dream. The shade is quite light to be a contour shade but gives a natural finish using it on my nose, forehead and my jaw, blending it with the same beauty blender and whenever you blend your contour on your cheeks especially, always try to blend it upwards so that it could give a lifted look to your face and then using the same blender to blend the contour on my forehead and then on my nose as well. Using a light shade concealer from Swiss Beauty again to give a highlighting effect under my eyes and on my nose and under the contour as well. Using the same pack concealer brush to blend everything and while blending the concealer especially under the contour, always clean the mess made while blending the contour to make the contour look a little more precise and neat. Blending the concealer under my eyes and then once that's done, next up is using this beautiful cream blush from newly launched Swiss Beauty Crease Collection. And then applying it and blending it with my fingers in an upward position so that it could give a lifted effect to the entire look which is just a big yay. Using the same strobe cream as a highlighter this time, taking a little bit at the back of my hand and then applying it slightly on my cheeks a little bit on my cupid's bow and then on my eyelids at the end as well although i will apply a shimmer eyeshadow shade on it using my holy grail loose powder from maybelline but before setting my under eyes with it i lightly pat the under eyes so that the powder could set the concealer properly i really like to lightly use it under the contour with whatever product is left on the sponge using this gem product from mac to set my makeup and just spritzing it and enjoying the moment just look at the glow i mean this product is worth every penny just chef's kiss using the my glam manish malhotra eyeshadow palette and just lightly using the shimmer shade in between on my eyelids to make it look like i have put a lot of efforts in my look while i haven't 
just look at it look at how much difference does it actually make torturing my eyelashes <laughs> i mean curling my eyelashes with this curler and then using this mama earth's mascara which i've used so many times and you could just see it from the packaging i'm skipping falsies today because this is a no makeup makeup look although i absolutely love applying falsies it does take some time to get a hang of it but it's amazing jumping on my lips using this everyone's favorite maybelline nude nuance and then using this nude lip gloss from swiss beauty i guess there are a lot of products from swiss beauty in today's tutorial and then we are just ready this is how the look turned out this is my version of no makeup makeup look could be definitely different for you tell me what do you think in the comments down below thank you so much for watching please like share comment